Yes, and you're still watching New Day on TV3, and now it's time for Mission. On the 1st of September, fuel prices were increased from 5.19 Ghana cities to 5.39 uh, Ghana cities, and that was almost a 4% jump from the previous figure. And right after that, the Chamber of Petroleum Consumers issued a statement to government asking for them to reverse the price increase in order for people who uh, purchase fuel to also not suffer as much. And as a result, uh, we have in the studios Mr. Kwame, Ajimandia, he's the CEO, industry coordinator of Kweku, pardon me, Kweku Ajimandia, CEO, industry coordinator of Association of Oil Marketing Companies, AOMC. Good morning, sir, and good thank morning. you so much yeah. for joining us. It's How's your weekend, good. by the way? I hope it was good. It was good. Yeah? Was good. Okay, so COPET issued a statement, which I'm sure you are very much aware of. What do you make of their demand? Well, I think COPET could represent all of us. Yes. We are all petroleum consumers, and uh, they ask the government to reduce the taxes. Mm. It's good for us um, consumers, and also it's good for us as uh, industry players. Yeah. Yeah. In the sense that when we have taxes and levies going up, it limits some physical space for us mm. to be able to even put our margins on. So it's good. It's a good call. It's a good call. Yeah. I remember during um, the finance minister's media budget review, he mentioned that there was going to be an increase in the Energy Sector Levies Act. And uh, a lot of people assumed that that was probably the reason why the ONCs also increased uh, the prices of fuel as well. Could that be the decision? Yes. For this window, yes. Okay. We, we had the letter from our regulator, that's MPA, on Friday mm. and asking us to comply with it. Okay. And normally, um, we did that so that on, on this week we'll be able to get the price down. Mm. And when we do that, it says that not that we take the money. We have to collect the money from you, the consumers, um, yeah. and give it to the government. So that's what we do. Hmm. And if we don't do that, we have to pay penalty to the to the state. Okay. So it's not something that we can do anything about it. Nothing at Nothing. all. Nothing. We can't do anything about so it. So in we this case, we just have to pass it on. Yeah. Are you saying that you won't, you cannot yield to pressure from COPEC? No, we can't do anything. Taxes, yeah. you know, you know, they release it by law, mm. and we have to comply with the law. We have to be seen as very good corporate citizens, you know, doing what the government wants us to do. So mm. we, we just pay the taxes. We collect and just pay the taxes to the government. Okay. Now, it's, it's the taxes on the fuel, what more than that mention now? It's not only consumers. Yeah. We as industry players, we have it. There are OMCs who are picking products from the depots. Mm. And they are being, they have a cup of uh, insurance bond. Okay. So obviously, once the price goes up like this, you need to up your insurance bond as well. Wow. So it becomes a cost to us. So that otherwise, we can't lift the same volume that we are supposed to have. So you need to make do with that one. Secondly, we also have the issues of, of course, we have a short term easing. Mm. Anytime prices go up, obviously, we try by volumes mm. because our margins are very small. Okay. If our margins are about, if you say, you buy, say fuel about hybrid cities. Ours is only six cities. Six? Uh, six cities. So obviously, if you sell more volume, wow. then you can talk about it. But if you have less volume, as taxes go up, obviously, though it's short term, mm. you, you suffer. Because mm. what is overhead is all to pay. It becomes a difficulty. So we also have some challenges there. Definitely. Exactly. And speaking of challenges, I know that there's also a fuel smuggling cartel. Yeah, um, it's on, yes, underground, which is, which is there. I know, a very big issue. Very big issue. Making up about 17% actually exactly. of all fuel sold in Ghana. We had it. We had it. Now it was, it's becoming better. Yeah. In fact, this year, the better part of the first half was good. Mm. In fact, I dove my heart to the MPH yeah. executive. He was very instrumental in doing that. And... Um, we still have some, it is not completely gone. Yeah. We still have some snippets of those one happen. Mm. But we have been sharing intel with the MPA boss and the security agencies mm. on what we are getting. And more often than not, it looks like our friends, the big brother, Nigeria, mm. they are subsidizing petrol. So yeah. they can easily come over across the border to our end here. So it makes it difficult. Very difficult. How's, <laughs> how's it impacting, um, you know, the, the, the system right here in Ghana as well? What, one government loses re revenue in terms of taxes mm. because the volume that we're supposed to pass through the system, government loses. Yeah. And for us, we have our stations being dry. Mm. We're not able to sell the quantity that we are supposed to sell. And if it happens that way, 
uh, continues over a period we're not able to meet our expenses our costs and it becomes difficult we can't even employ more people mm. uh, and those who are existing we can't even pay them well mm. so it becomes very difficult for us as Definitely. business yeah so are we now going to say that if government does not step in to reduce the levy tax nothing at all can be done what happens to the person on the street who's complaining incessantly about the fuel increase you know fuel uh, well we are in a deregulated environment yeah which the OMCs have been legally empowered to price. Mm -hmm. And we put our margins. Legally means that there are some portion of the price building units that we can do that anything can, about yeah. it. Like, for instance, as we can negotiate, depending on how the international market is doing, yeah. we negotiate with the BDCs. We can. Right? There's a limit to that. Then the levies and taxes, we simply cannot do anything about mm. it. Now, if we decide to push some of our margins in, which some people OMCs have started doing now, we face the challenge of um, picking our stations up to standards. Yeah. Which will be sacrificing standards for the people, and mm. which is not so good. Hmm. The good people of Ghana expect us that we should maintain standards. Yeah. So that we we obviate issues of accidents and incidents and in our stations. So we really want to make sure that we do that. As you speak right now. What is happening is that you, you see the price in 535, yeah. 5385, five, yeah. 5419, mm -hmm. that kind of, but from our analysis, the price should have been higher than that. It should have been higher? Yeah. Should have been 546. What? Yes. You know what? Like I, I was telling you, yeah. our margins six, mm. and that's what you're supposed to do. But as you speak, if you're not charging that price, it means... Yeah, that gap is know. being swallowed by the OMCs. Yeah. What does it take to pay his workers? What does it take to maintain mm -hmm. standards? Mm -hmm. You know, it's becoming, and our, our industry is becoming more of technology based. Yeah. And we need money to even do other things. Otherwise, we just stay. And as you speak, we have 148 OMCs. Some of them have been not lifting inconsistently. As a result of this. A, no, I mean, we have we, those things course, because yeah. of our margin going down. So it's pretty difficult. So if you recall, before the deregulation in 2015. Mm. Government was subsidizing the fuel. That yeah. government is not subsidizing fuel. We are no. rather subsidizing the fuel. Mm. As a result of competition and pricing issues. So basically, that's what we are. So we also also suffering. Wow. Unbelievable. And if you, have, <laughs> if you have any question or comment, let us know. But in the statement, it said that we are here by demanding without delay an immediate reversal and withdrawal mm. of the recent hikes in order to make way for further dialogue on the current fuel price buildup mm -hmm. with a view to reversing the recent unfortunate trend of persistent increases as it is serving no good aside putting lives and businesses across the country on the edge. This is not the first time. I mean, this year alone, Ghanaians have complained yeah. so much about fuel prices increasing. It's like you wake up one week and... There's a different story altogether. Yeah. What, are, are we also doing something that's not right, that's leading to this as well? I think basically for me, speaking as an individual, mm. is the way our tax structure is. It's a tax structure. Yeah, we, we need to make sure that we get as many people to pay taxes mm. as possible. Yeah. So it becomes the only way government wants to raise revenue. Yeah. Or about one of the few ways that government will do because it's easy. You put fuel, everybody uses. Mm -hmm. But if you stretch it properly and everybody pays something, yeah. I'm sure we'll not put all on the fuel, on the utilities, yeah. as it were. So it's something that we all have to have a dialogue on, on, on this task structure. Spend time. I know for politicians, it's a short-term kind of thing. Yeah. It's four years. They cannot do much. So but if you all, as a country, sit down and say, let's have a structure so that we can get very good revenue. People send their money to us mm -hmm. because they have very good tax structure. Yeah. People pay their money and we get them as uh, benefits. So we need to do a similar thing. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's, we spend time. In your case, what, what kind of changes do you think we should bring to the structure? Well, basically, I think we... There's a lot of models. Yeah. I'm not a task guy. Of course. Basically, but I mean from, for yeah. me, my, I'm only an engineer, sort of. But uh, the task people, the professionals we have in the country, should mm. help us. And all of us have to pinch in so that we can get through. There are many models. There are many mm. models. Mm. People do via association. People do via professional bodies. Yeah. Like journalists have got their professional bodies. You have to pay taxes through there. And the benefits also come through the same place. Mm. We can have a lot of good structures, especially something that came to us. Not really copying, copying for, for copying's yeah. sake, but the fact that we look at our socioeconomic system 
our values mm -hmm. are set things so that we can come out with something yeah. which all of us will be happy. Definitely. Exactly. Otherwise, we can continue complaining because government needs money, mm -hmm. we need roads, we mm -hmm. need houses. Government will go ahead and put the taxes on. On it. Because that's the easiest way you can get yeah. the money. You can just take your calculator and multiply and you know this amount which is mm -hmm. coming. It's easier. Definitely. And looking at from now till the end of the year, what are your projections? Do you think there's still going to be some more increases? <laughs> should we expect it or should we at least be rest assured that something yeah, can I, be I done about it? If I the fuel price, I don't be sitting here. Well, I mean, <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> but I, I mean, looking at the money. way things are going, and at this point we're talking about tax levy increases and stuff. The only thing that we have to do is that we um, behave like a typical guardian. We mm. have to pray. The, pray. The international <laughs> markets. Yeah. Continue to be stable. Yeah. You know, but if it is not stable and getting each into the X mass and that one also goes up, then we obviously we're going to have a problem. Hmm. And that's how it is. Wow. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. <laughs> anyway, well, um, so yes, I've been speaking to Dr. Kweku Ajimandia. And um, yes, he is the CEO, Industry Coordinator of Association of Oil Marketing Companies. And he stated clearly that it all boils down on government and a reduction in the uh taxes mm -hmm. right now right. and so let's keep our fingers crossed and hope that something happens but if it doesn't then i guess that we're going to have to deal with the increment uh, the, uh i i really don't know how yeah, it's, it's a, a struggle because now you buy fuel and just another kilometer and it's done it's done it's, it's, it's wow struggle. it's not the same thing it's not but anyway thank you so much sir thank for joining so me on air You're